Hey guys, my name is Trossi and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 15. In the previous episode, we began our journey in the world of Final Fantasy 15 and we're going to go ahead and stay here at the camp. So, uh, there's a couple options here. Camp, wait until morning, wait until nightfall. Uh, these options were not available when the game first came out. So yeah, and I don't think train was either. So we're going to go ahead and camp. Let's call it a day. And we get All AP right. for that. Oh my god, I should have used my AP for the... Okay, I just thought of something in my head. So anyways, this is going to be the only time I actually camp because of the fact that I, after this, I'm going to like just save up all of my experience and use it at the hotel because it just, it's just a good idea. You get times two experience when you do that. Actually, I think you get even more. Here's Prompto just taking pictures of everybody. Just being Prompto. Yep, yep, get a picture, yep, get a shot of me. So, yeah. So, this is optional. You don't have to stay at camps, but it's helpful because if you do, not only does it total up your experience, but Ignis can actually cook up, cook up some food for us. And we can choose which one we get here. So, now, um, there is some other stuff here, but we don't have the ingredients for it. So, basically, when you look at food... It'll tell you what it does. Increase attack by 10. Increase maximum HP by 50. Increase attack by 30. So, yeah. Then there's this one. Increase attack Increase attack by 20. Increase maximum HP by 150. Um, I kind of like going with the crispy cheese pizza because it gives you unlimited sprint until the uh, boost runs out. But I think I'm actually just going to go with this instead. Veggie medley stew. Increase attack by 20. HP by 150. So... I'll take it. So Ignis is going to go ahead and cook this up. Keep in mind that for some of these uh, food items, or for or pretty much all of them, you're going to need ingredients to make them. So yeah, that looks pretty. That looks actually really good, honestly. A lot of the food in this game looks really good. Like, it does. Okay, anyways. So now what's going to happen is our experience is going to tally up, and we're also going to earn some AP as well. So as you'll see right here, we're going to go ahead and get some level ups. There it goes. And you'll see the AP number will go up a little bit every time you level up. So, yes, it's very helpful. All right. And Prompto and Ignis' is cooking went up. Or no, excuse me. Ignis' is cooking and Prompto's uh, photography or photo photography went up. Photography, what the heck. All right. So, Prompto is documenting the journey in photographs. Review the picture he takes and save his best snapshots. All right, well, um, let's, oh, we're, pfft, is that even a question? Yes, we're saving this one. So, yeah, um, a lot of my thumbnails are, not bad. a lot of my thumbnails are probably going to be, like, pulled from the pictures that Prompto takes. <laughs> nice work snapping this. I don't know. Oh, really? I don't know, actually, though, because then I would actually have to stay at an <laughs> inn in order to do that. So unfair. Well, because I'm I'm Noctis, and that's and that's what I do. I'll save that one as well. Um, but yeah, you can also just hit. Actually, you know what? For any awesome-looking pictures, I'll just save it in case I do decide like, hey, like this is an awesome picture. I'll use this later. You know what I mean? For like, you know, thumbnails and stuff. You gotta be thinking outside the box. So. Um, you can access the pause menu outside of dungeons and combat to save. Yeah, I already made a save. Yep. Like a All right. Tour. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. But like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Yeah, the, the, the car we, we don't have right now because it's kind of busted down. Now, whenever you go to a campsite, there's always going to be like these like these crystal. I, I kind of refer to them as like um, like element deposit element deposits. I think that's what they're called. This is basically elemental energy to cast. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm sucking up this energy to use it to make magic. So you can see on the map that was lightning there's ice over here and then there's fire on the other side so whenever you see these always take it because you know you can use it to create magic and while i don't think magic is really all that important to use in this game you can 
beat you can beat this game without using it at all really um there are some pretty cool spells you can make and i'll definitely be trying to experiment with some stuff and see what i can make but yeah anyways um we have a quite a walk back actually no we have to do this next part which is to locate the target all right so we're on the road again no okay if i had the unlimited sprint that would be very nice but i don't so we're just we're just gonna have to run for it a lot of stuff will be cut out if i'm spending just like a lot of time just running and running and running to my next destination because that's a lot of what this game is especially when you don't have the car and especially because we don't have chocobos yet and what's the Final Fantasy game if there's not chocobos in it? But yeah, chocobos will really help out a lot. But unfortunately, we can't get them until Chapter 3. So we kind of just have to deal with running to all of our destinations. So, yeah. So, yeah. Let's make our way over here. Gotta go fight a tough enemy. Now. Over there. That's it, right? Yep. <sighs> That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We best make quick work of it. Okay. Now, really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and go into my menu here and talk about the Ascension Grid. Now, the Ascension Grid is basically how you level up your party. Like, I'll just talk about it really quickly. We have combat, techniques, recovery, magic, weight mode, exploration, stats, teamwork. And it's very similar to like that of like, I almost want to say like Skyrim or something like where you just kind of choose one and then you level that up. Um, when we earn AP, we'll be able to do, to do just that. So the first thing I want to focus on here is um, normally I like to go for uh, exploration because basically these abilities here, uh, you'll gain more AP if you go for these first. So like, for example, um, uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Um, think of a good one, a good example. Like gain AP for catching a fish or gain AP for making a camp. Like this type of stuff, gain AP for long trips in the car. This kind of, These types of things are very useful to go for first. Very, It's very, very helpful. So, But I'm just going to hold off because what I really want to do is go into techniques and get uh, Gladio's Dawn Hammer. This is a really, really good, a, a really good technique that I want to give to Gladio. So we're going to go ahead and give that to him right off the back. I'll go ahead and go over techniques in a second here. And then I believe, um, let me see here. Star shell. I don't think it's that. I think it's okay. Ignis has regroup for Ignis. I want to get him enhancement. That one's very, very useful. So I'll go ahead and get regroup for now. Oh, actually, no. I want to get this one. Don't want to spend too much points, but you know what? That's fine. We'll just go with Dawn Hammer. So if we go into skills... Wait, no, not skills. Uh, if we go into gear and then go to our party... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay. If you go into gear and then choose Gladio, Ignis, or Prompto, we can have the choice of a technique. So right now, uh, Gladio has Temptus, which is basically like a AoE attack. Like It basically hits all enemies around. Um, I like Dawn Hammer because it's really, really strong. And when you combine this with Prompto's Piercer ability that lowers defense, this attack is really, really good. And then now, uh, I think, uh, let's see here. So Gladio has Mark and then, which basically he just marks the enemies and then Noctis just attacks the enemies that he marks. It's not that amazing of an ability, but, but yes, Piercer really really good when you combine it with dawn hammer so i'll show you guys a really good example of that in this fight right here all right got a tough enemy here what? Scared, big guy? you ought to be too things vicious you sure looks tame to me yeah. look out all right here he comes <laughs> oh wow nice one. I like how they're just Not dicking around like <laughs> all right so here we go now it's level two. Oh, hold on hold on hold on <laughs> music got really loud there first let's go into wait i want to do that really quickly so we can scan this enemy so this is a blood horn it's level two we actually are higher level than it now that we sit at the camp but i'm gonna go ahead and scan it and find out what it's weak to 
Uh, it's weak to... Okay, so it's weak to spares, shields. We don't have shields yet. And fire. I don't actually have fire either. That would have been very useful if I made that. But that's okay. Actually, I think I could go in my menu and do that right now. So your friends can perform special techniques to aid you in combat. And now I'm going to go over that right now. Can I actually make spells in the middle of fights? Oh, I can. Oh, I have fire. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and give Noctis fire because that will be very useful. So we'll put fire right there and we'll set that up. All right. So what we're going to start off by doing is pressing RB to lock on and then press LB to use have prompto do pair, sir. So what this does is it lowers the enemy's defense and then after that we want to go for dawn hammer because what darn him dawn hammer will do is it'll do a lot more damage when you get piercer on it first because it lowers its defense uh have glado use tempt this and then follow his lead i don't actually have tempt this on i think i could put it on for this fight i think i will um but yeah it's very useful for uh very useful doing that so we'll put tempt this on so he can do it. I think that needs one. All right, hold on. I'm going to wait for it. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Let's go for Temptus. Go ahead, Gladio. So this is Temptus right here. It's an aerial attack where he just basically attacks all enemies around. And then we'll press B to line up our next attack and get some AP for doing that, which is really nice. Now, uh, let me go ahead and go back to uh, Gladio's Dawn Hammer, which is in my opinion, a lot more better and useful. Now, the other thing I want to show... Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I almost got literally locked, knocked up into the air. I want to show off magic. I'm going to go ahead and use fire really quickly. And boom. And he's dead. And you can actually hurt your party members with that too. As you can see, Prompto just got lit on fire. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, hello? Look at Prompto. Oh my God. <laughs> Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. Okay, awesome. Oh my god, I just lit Prompto on fire. So yeah, that was a spell right there. Basically what I did was so, um who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that okay. he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Sure oh my god, look there. at Prompto. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. I need the leg room and back. That's hilarious. I'm kind of laughing about that. Okay, anyways, now that we took care of that, um, yeah, so fi uh, elements can hurt your party members as well as yourself, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, you got to be careful with that. Right here, we have some, like, um, kind of, like, deposits, like, also, like, I don't know what they're really called. I think they're, like, crystal deposits or something. Basically, you pick them up, and you can use it for your car, and I think they have other uses as well. I can't quite remember, but anyways... Uh, yeah, I freaking lit Prompto on fire. It did a lot of damage, though. Enemies that are weak to spells like that, it will do a lot of damage if you use it on them. So it's not a bad idea to keep a spell, o spell or two on you for that purpose. Come on, Ignis. Say it. I'm, I'm waiting for Ignis to say it, honestly. I'm just waiting for Ignis to be like, that's it. And then he's like, I came up with a new recipe or something like that. Honestly. City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh, Honestly. You're walking to the car. But we're not. Because this is a long walk. This is a very long walk to the car. Sorry. I right, go for B sprint. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I had to switch. Because <laughs> if I kept it on fire, I would have accidentally cast. You cut it out before someone gets hurt. Is this your idea of a joke? Sadly, no. No, can you guys stop? Me. All right, it was an accident. Jesus Christ, they're so hard on you about that stuff. If you accidentally like swing your weapon, or swing your weapon or anything near them, they like freak out about it. It's like Jesus it's Christ. Keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, what? What is that? What is what? Oh my God. A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, yes. Explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Yes, it is. And we will be fighting that later. We will. I will be fighting that. I will kill that giant bird. No, I'm joking. But yeah, that's just an example of an enemy that you see in the game that you will get your chance to take on later. So anyways, let's make it back to Hammerhead. Ugh. Let's take it forever. 
Oh, this is funny. When you get, like, in front of a car, they just, like, stop. I'm like, hit me. Hit me, bitch. No. <laughs> All right, going to sprint again. But, yeah. Now, when you're out... Oh, wow. The, oh, wow. This, this song actually started playing again. I didn't think it would. Because whenever this music gets in, interrupted, it doesn't play again until you, like, stay at a camp or something. I don't know. It's weird like that. All right, guys. Come on, guys. Keep up. I know it's a long walk back, but we'll get there. We will get there. We're almost there. Blessed weather. Yeah. It's really... Actually, it is very warm today, guys. Like, it's very warm. Like, it's like May. I just stayed at this video. Crap. <laughs> well, I do record my videos in advance before they come out. But anyways, um... Let's go ahead and... Up on potions and stuff. Nice. Oh, yeah. You're being helpful for a change. Yeah. What do you mean for a change? Also, get used to characters saying the same stuff over and over and over again. Because they will. And it's kind of annoying. Hey, what's up, my dude? Check out the shop. Alright, so here we have a shop. They usually sell things like potions, elixirs, Phoenix Down. Phoenix Down will bring you back to life if you die. Antidotes. Very self-explanatory. Uh, they sell ingredients for Ignis. And they also sell treasures. Now, this repair kit, I actually want to buy one of those. Actually, I'm going to buy two of those. Uh, repair kit will be Much useful for later, so we'll buy that. And we also have memories of Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy VIII. So, I'm going to buy that too, actually. That'll basically allow us to play music from those games in our car, which is really cool. So, yeah, I'm going to buy that. But I'm Let's not going to buy anything here. else. I don't want to miss out on that awesome music. Alright, so something else I forgot to do in the previous episode was to go to the diner and check out the tipster that's here. Check. Yes, check. We're good to go. I think we'll make it before night. If we leave now, we might just make it. Might end just. Not exactly reassuring. Well, I mean, it's only 11. You guys can, I'm sure wherever you're going, you'll make it. Anyways, this is... Oh, I mean, uh, welcome. <laughs> this guy gets scared every time you talk to him. So anyways, this is the local tipster. So we have talk, eat, and hunt. Very important. Let's go ahead and start with talk. Y'all hungry for info? So he's going to show us nearby havens. He's also going to show us parking spots. Also going to show us new outposts. And some spots where we could find ingredients and treasure. Very helpful. Now, um, there's also eats. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. You can eat at these um, diners. And there are some good stuff here. If you actually do eat the food that they have here, sometimes Ignis will take that recipe and literally copy the guy. He's like, I'm just going to copy what you just sold me and just make it. Like, he, Ignis is weird like that. He'll just see food and he'll copy them and be like, I'm going to make this recipe for us. It's really funny. So anyways, we have hints here. Restaurant... Uh, restaurant uh, proprietors will tip you off to hunts that award, gill, and other prizes. Slay the targets and report, report back to these tipsters to claim your bounty. All right. These nasties here have been a real pain in the rear. Now it's time for me to talk about hunts. Right. So basically, what hunts are, it's a good way of getting exper or experience, gill, treasure. It's all around just another thing that you can do to level up and get money and get like little treasures like that if we win that if we kill this we get like an iron bangle so on and so forth some of these hunts are very difficult and i already know that a lot of those hunts that are difficult are demons demons are enemies that appear at night and this jumbo flan is one of them if i were to fight this flan right now which i can't actually do i can't do it yet uh it's gonna give us a lot of problems so yes what I have decided that I will be doing for this playthrough is I will be doing the hunts off screen and then just for the first five minutes of each episode showing you the hunts that I did and basically what I got out of it. Because if I do hunts along doing side quests and main quest stuff, we will be playing this game for a good three years and I don't want that to happen. So um, I will go ahead and show off the first hunt that we can do here, which is this regular saber tusk. So we'll go ahead and, you know, we can accept it. Appreciate it. Okay. Now, what's also cool is you can actually accept more than one hunt. 
so you can take on more than one. In the original game, not in the original, in the original game, like this is a remake or something. Uh, back when this game first came out, you were only able to do one hunt at a time, and then you would have to return, get your reward, and then do another one and go back and forth. But now they made it so that you can just accept all of them up to the most you can do is i think you can only accept up to 10 and just go and just kill them all and then come back and get your rewards it's really helpful uh, i'm just going to be taking on this one for now just to show it off as an example of what it's like so basically the hunt appears on your map and you just basically you go go, go down there what prompto so now we're going to make our way over to uh this hunt which is actually in the back of the diner now also something you want to keep your eyes out for is treasure sometimes you'll see like items on the floor that you can pick up i just want to see okay right here for example we have a metal scrap you can use that hey, for crafting going. all right relax gladio okay jesus <laughs> all right so yeah uh there's like little wow. treasures you can they find a lot of different stuff here huh that's how it works now let's go ahead and make our way to this next or not next but our first hunt that i'm actually going to show after this one i won't be showing the hunts on screen unless it's like a really good one or a boss fight or like something interesting that would be worth showing if it's just like a regular enemy or something i'm not going to show it but for this first one i will so here we have saber tusks just you know regular enemies they're weak to daggers so let's go ahead nice. and warp here and warp there Okay, come on. Let's do this. Alright, come on. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, go. Get up. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm doing really bad at finessing. Alright, there we go. Block. There we go. Alright, block. Parry. Get him. Yes. Ow. Ow. Alright. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in stasis. Stasis. Warp. Okay, and then warp back. Do that. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Wait for it. And... Oh, God. And dodge. Now, let's go ahead and have Ignis do Mark. I haven't showed this one yet. Mark is basically... He just marks all the enemies like that. And... And... Uh, prompto. Just not prompto. Noctis attacks them. All right. Cool. So, yeah. After you finish the hunt, you just go report back to the tipster. And then they'll give you... Your prize of gill and then whatever else the item was that they were offering you. So yeah, that's probably... Uh, there will be other hunts that I will show. I can. I already know quite a few hunts I know that are going to be very, very difficult. I already know which ones they that will give me a hard time. But um, the ones that are interesting to show, I'll show it on screen. And, the, and then the ones that are not, I'll just do it off screen and then show it in the opening of the video or something like that you know because when it comes to this game it's going to be a big project and a lot of work so yeah all right um i did it uh, 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 uh. yes yeah we, we killed we killed it you, you you happy i get some kill and some high elixir is nice all right now what can i do you for nothing really i mean i could do another hunt but i'm not Go going like to it. come on back all right thank you very much sir all right now we have to go report back to cindy but before i do that i really quickly want to go over here and um see if i could buy some weapons now i want to buy just a few hey what are you after this time want to buy the daggers now when you're buying weapons always look at how strong the weapon is and what effects that the weapon has for example, for example, this guy is selling two types of daggers, daggers and avengers. The avengers are actually is stronger because it's attack power 43, while this one is 20. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one for Noctis because uh, he, needs a, business. he needs a pair of daggers. Now, Ignis has regular daggers. Um, okay, and then this sword, the, two, the war sword, is a lot stronger than the two-handed sword. And then the broadsword. I don't think we need the broadsword, actually. because Actually, yes, we do. Because it's stronger than our engine blade. Uh, um, Alright, I'll buy that. Yep. And then... um, 
I gotta buy Noctis a pistol so that he has one, because that'll be very useful. Um, you know what? Hmm, I gotta decide here how to go about doing this. I'm gonna buy... <sighs> I'm not gonna be using the, uh, the handgun on Noctis all that often. Sometimes I will. You know what? I'll buy... Um, knock. Actually, no. You know what I'll do? I'll buy this one for Prompto. And then I'll have Prompto give the handgun to Noctis. You know, that way, you know, I'm not overdoing it. Um, okay. So then we have the War Sword. So we can get two of those. Avenge Daggers, which I already... I, okay, so I brought one of these. I'm going to buy one for Ignis. Like that. And then I'm going to buy two War Swords for um, Noctis and Gladio. And that should be good. Should be good like that. All right. Yes. Hey, come Great. Again. Thank you, sir. And let's go ahead and set that up really quickly. So put the dagger here. As you can see, that boosts our stats. Uh, let's see. Two-handed sword. Uh, war sword will boost our HP and our attack. Um, that guy wasn't selling any um, spare weapons, actually, now that I think about it. All right, so you're good. All right. Oh, no, no. Here we go. War sword. Um, they can actually carry a secondary weapon, but only Gladio can use um, shields. You can also give your party members spells, but I don't really do that or recommend it because i don't know they're just not that great at it so we'll go ahead and give um ignis the avengers now i do have dlc weapons but i'm actually not gonna use them just because um i don't know i just don't really want to <laughs> so we'll go ahead and give uh prompto that oh we also have assess oh yeah i forgot about that oh my god accessories um let's see here all right, so this is really good. Warriors Warfare, uh, Fanfare, excuse me, um, provides additional AP for earning an A plus in offense outside of training. So yeah, we want to take that and put that on uh, Noctis, and then I'll give the HP. Uh, I'm gonna give this to Gladio, I guess. Right? Actually, you know what? I'll give it to you. Yeah, we'll give it to you since your health is so freaking low. But, yes. Also, really quickly, there's outfits in this game, as you can see. Um, actually, depending on what you wear will will change your stats, just to, just to let you guys know. Um, I'm not going to put any of this stuff on, but I will show it off later. Not right now, you know. Just quickly go through that and just look at all of it. Okay, and I think we should be good. Hopefully, it's not popping up there in there anymore. Um, okay, gear. I don't want to spend too much time in these menus. What do you reckon chocobos are doing at a gas station? Their vehicles too. Sorry. I want to get those AP upgrades actually really quickly. Sorry guys, I just have to do this. Um, I want Ignis to get uh, enhancement because that's a really really good ability. It basically makes uh, Noctis's weapon have an element added to it. So, like, for example, if he's attacking with his sword, it'll have fire in it or whatever the enemy is weak to. So, I really want to get that for Ignis. So, I'm going to go for that. And then we're going to go for that. And we'll have enhancement. So, there we go. Prompto. Prompto. Uh, Ignis. I'm going to put that on because it's really good. Now, regroup. Uh, this is something that a lot of people like using. Uh, I don't really use it. Basically, what it does is um, it, brings the, uh, it brings everyone together and it will restore their health really quickly so it's basically like a way of just restoring your team's health i don't really use it all that much at all honestly i like enhancement more so sorry about the wait ain't she pretty oh She's yes she is for the road. honestly she's back we should all get a picture with her oh god here we go All right, let's get a picture. Nice. Nice. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? Uh, sure. No, not at all. Perfect. 
thought you earned say 50 yes. XP. So I already put it in the trunk. There should wow. be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa, my grandkid. Honestly. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Um, not really. I usually like to let Ignis drive. Honestly, I'm more of like just letting Ignis drive rather than me. But, uh, sure, I'll take it for a spin. Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so... Now we can get in the car, which is great. <laughs> get in the car. Now we can finally drive the Regalia. So anyways, coming up on time now for this episode. Really quickly before I end it off here, I just want to go back in here and just look at some more stuff in here. I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this menu, guys. Just letting you know there is some really useful abilities to go after. Um, uh, equip two accessories. Yeah, see, that's another really good one I want to get. Um, let me see here. Get AP for long trips in the car. Get AP, say AP for camp. Get AP for long trips by Chocobo. I want to start with doing the, um, the car one because we'll be spending a lot of time in the car. At the same time, though, there's, like, stuff over here I want to get. Air oh, air step is... Okay, just to let you guys know, here in the combat, one of the first things I am going to go for for Noctis is all the way up here, Air Dance. Really, really useful. It's a very useful ability. It basically allows Noctis to just basically fly around an enemy, constantly attacking the enemy over and over and over again. And the bigger the enemy, the better this, the better and more useful this ability is. So it's really good. I highly recommend you get Air Dance as soon as you can because it'll help knock this a lot. Especially when you get a weapon later that will increase your MP every time you hit with it. So it's very useful to get Air Dance. So yeah, that'll be one of the first things I go after. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and think over the Ascension Grid off screen. But next time in Final Fantasy XV, we are going to make our way down to uh, here, the Outpost, which is our next destination. I will be making my way down there. Maybe I might pick up a treasure or two along the way, you know. But yeah, we'll make our way to the next our work, next destination, which is the outpost. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Smash that subscribe button for more. And remember to watch out for more uploads from Trocity. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.